Okay, good morning, everyone. I want to call the Drainage District Board of Directors meeting to order. We'll start with a roll call to establish quorum. Good morning, David Fuentes, Precinct 1. Everardo Villarreal, Precinct 3. Rich Cortez, County Judge, that's a quorum of three. Mr. Sassine, would you please lead us, lead us in today's prayer? Yes, sir. I certainly will, Judge. Thank you. <clears throat> good morning, Judge Commissioners, everyone. Uh, let us pray. Father God, we continue to seek you, um, your peace and your clarity over all that's occurring in our country today. We know you're with us and for us as we gather to seek your counsel. We continue to pray for the judge and four commissioners you've appointed to lead this great county of ours. We pray for our mayor, school board members, city council, police chiefs, district attorney, sheriff, judges, and all who serve local communities. Continue to strengthen with wisdom and grace for the heavy burdens they carry. May they continue to manage their teams and projects with love. Keep their hearts pure and their eyes turned toward your face as they serve in the best interest of the people they call to serve. Continue to pray for the first responders and their families, Father God. We lift them up to you. We ask for your grace, love, and wisdom be granted to the doctors and nurses dealing with the ill. And we continue to ask for your hand of peace and comfort over them and their families. We continue to pray for our brother, we, Father God, and all those who are battling cancer and any illness, Father God. May a Christmas miracle be upon them this year, Father God. And we continue to pray for healing and your will be done in all circumstances. Provide their families with the peace that you can only bring through your son, Jesus. And we continue to praise you, Father God, for all the healing that's come through you. We continue to pray for the peace over the families of those that have lost loved ones. We pray for those souls that have passed. May they be at peace, resting at your side. And Father God, may your strength carry them through all, and your grace, love, and mercy be over them. Lord, in this final week of preparation for your birth, we want to make ready a place in, for, in our hearts for you. We believe that you are here with us and desire to speak to us. We trust you and your grace will accompany us throughout this busy day so that we may make decisions that will be pleasing in your sight. We pray for joy in our hearts, Father God, hope in you, Lord, Father God, love to forgive and peace upon earth. And we continue to pray for your blessing over all the people. Scripture reminds us the more we seek you, the more we will find you. May we seek you in everything we do, Father God, and we always work as who's working for you. And we ask all that in your son Jesus' name. Amen. Did anybody sign up for open forum? <clears throat> no, sir, not for the training system. And then we have the approval of the consent agenda. Yes, sir, Judge. We have checked register and just approval some discharge permit, general operations. Everything's been vetted by my team. Uh, we do recommend approval. Motion to approve. Second. I have a motion and second to approve the consent agenda. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item Thank 5A. Yes, sir. 5A requesting approval in our local, in our local agreement between Dow County Drainage Number 1 and Dow County Camera. Dow Golden Cameron County Irrigation District Number 9, <coughs> as it relates to mile 7.5 north and 2.5 east Mercedes and east Mercedes drainage project pending final legal review. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you. Item 5B1, approval of the Dow County Drainage 1 investment policy. Um, I believe Commissioner Cantu will be abstaining from this item. Um, we do have uh, Mr. Chook here to speak on the policy. If any questions, Alvaro, anything you'd like to present for the board? Um, good morning. Uh, we're following the same as the county. You want to get the mic closer to there With the go. exception of the uh, the terms of the CDs uh, investments, we're going to three years instead of five. You really need to. You, you can move it closer to you. Okay. There you go. So uh, the policy is the same as last year's. We're keeping the three-year investment term. Okay. And we're adding one vendor, uh, Raymond James. Which one? Raymond James and Associates. Okay. How many vendors do we have? Do you read I'm sorry? The record there, yes. Raymond James and Associates Incorporated. It's a Deep Blue Investments Advisors, First Public Loan Star Investment Pool, Meissner Financial Group, Mutual Securities, PFM Asset Management, Financial Capital Markets, Loan Star National Bank, Multi Bank Securities, Pershing LLC, Plains Capital, and Texas Class. Okay, may I have a motion to approve so, items 5B, 1, and 2? Judge, commissioners, for the record, Commissioner Cantu is abstaining uh, from any discussion and or action related to this agenda item uh, for the drainage district. 
Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Let the record show Commissioner Cantu did not participate in any discussion or voted on this matter. And, and Judge, pretty much 5B1, approval of Dow County Edition 1 of the authorized dealer list, which is what was read into the record already, sir. You can take action on that. That's B2. B2, yes. So moved. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank Judge, you. Judge, abstaining on that one also. Yes, Judge Commissioner. Let the record show the Commissioner Cantu also abstain from any discussion or voting on this matter. <clears throat> Thank you, sir. Uh, 5C, request and approval of 15-foot city of far utility easements that relates to South Lateral Drain Boys and Girls Club, RDF, and authority of the chairman of the board to execute documents pending final legal review. So moved. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you. <clears throat> 5D, one, requesting exception of competitive bidding requirements of Texas Logan Code 262024 for professional engineering service. So moved. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion. Carries. Thank you. 5D2, request an authority to Dr. Edition 1, negotiate professional engineering service agreement with Half and Associates for the provision of professional engineering service for the project of ACD1 complex and MNO training facility from the pre-approved district pool of pre-qualified professional engineers as approved by the board of directors April 19th, 2022. Motion approved. Take it. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you. Item E1, requesting acceptance of competitive bidding requirements of Texas Logan Code 2620284 for professional engineering service. So moved. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. E2, requesting authority to Dow Edition 1 to negotiate a professional engineering service for the provisions of project management with BDC Engineering for a Dow County Transition 1 complex MNO training facility for the pre-approved district pool of pre-qualified professional engineers as approved by the Board of Directors April 19, 2022. So moved. Second. We have a motion to second to approve. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you, Adam. F, requesting authority to advertise and approval of procurement packet requirements, specifications, plans, et cetera, developed by Project Engineer BDZ Engineering LLC for the Project Norm Drain Expansion, Canton to 17 and a half TDM, Project RV number ACDD 122 one ESC, including the advertising on the project, the event or response to receiving or rejecting the project is still required. So moved. Second. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carried. Um, on that one, I apologize. I believe we developed the, 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 the engineering for that, for that project. I think BDZ is uh, the project management, but we are the engineers. I apologize for that, uh, for the record. The drains district, Mr. Omar Ansaldu is the engineer, so maybe that was, that was missed typo. I just want to read that for the record. BDZ is the project manager for that project, but we developed all the specifications. That, so. That's fine. Is that okay? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. <clears throat> Item G, requesting acceptance and approval of donation D from San Jacinto Enterprises as it relates to uh, a 3.13 acre tract of land, farm track 442, Weston Adams Track Subdivision, subject to final legal review. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item H, one, requesting approval of purchase one CAT 323F amphibious pontoon excavator AM200 through the district's membership PCA with PCA Cooperative contract number OD328-20 from Big D Trailer LLC, Blue Cat Rentals and Frontera Equipment, and the total amount of 597500 Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item two, request to approve a trade in the following district-owned excavators, a 2009 Caterpillar 345DL asset number 1668, and another 2009 Caterpillar 324DL asset number 1728. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item three, pursuant to the board's approval, trade and request approval to remove the following from the district asset list once transaction is complete. 2009 Caliper 345DL asset number 1668 and 2009 Caliper 324DL asset number 1728. Just for the record, we are getting the book value that we have, which is a total of 61,000. So that number that we are purchasing, will, 597 will be reduced by that trading amount. So it's a good deal for the district. So Second. Second. <coughs> favor, say aye. Aye. Motion carries. Item my request and approval to purchase two John Deere 6145M six, tractors with, with attached Alamo Maverick 28 foot boom mowers to the district membership with board, by board award contract number 61120 through Alamo Group Texas Inc. in the total amount 485, 925, and 70 cents. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carried. Thank you. 6A, request to approve a closed documents parcel 16E6 as it relates to Project 16, the 2018 drainage bond program. Jackson Road Drain Authority, Chairman of the Board, execute documents subject to final legal review.
Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you. B1 requests exception for committee requirements. Text load code 2620248A4 for professional drink services. So moved. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. B2 requests an authority for document condition one to negotiate a professional drink service agreement with S2 Engineering PLLC for the provision of professional engineering services for project of 2018 bond program phase one Southwest West Coast from the pre-approved district pool of pre-qualified professional drinks engineers as approved by the board of directors April 19, 2022. Motion approved. Second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Motion carried. C1 requests exception committee requirements. Text Logan code 2620248 for professional engineering services. So moved. Second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Motion carried. C2 requests an authority for condition one to negotiate a professional engineering service agreement with the Supreme Engineering PLC for the provision of professional engineering services for the project of 2018 bond program phase two Southwest Westco from the pre approved district pool of pre qualified professional engineers. Engineers as approved by the Board of Directors, April 19, 2022. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item D1 requests approval of supplement agreement number three to professional engineering service contract CCD1 19014-0326 with BDZ Engineering LLC for the project Monte Cristo Road and Conway Road 2018 bond referendum project 27 to reflect the revised exhibit D work schedule with an extended termination date of May 12, 2024. Subject legal review and compliance house bill 1295. So moved. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carried. Item two, request and approval, supplement agreement number three to work session number one of the professional engineering service contract C C D D one nineteen zero fourteen zero three two six with BDC Engineering LLC for the project Monte Cristo Road and Conway Road, twenty team bond referendum project twenty seven to reflect the revised exhibit D work schedule with an extended period of service to end May 12, twenty twenty four, subject to legal review and compliance house bill twelve ninety five. Motion to approve. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carried. Thank you. E1 request and approval supplement agreement number three to professional engineering service contract CCD1 19010326 with BDC Engineering LLC for the project Mission McCallum Radio Alternate 2018 Bottom Project 25 to reflect an revised exhibit D's work schedule with an extended termination date of May 31st, 2023. Subject legal review and compliance house bill 1295. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carried. Thank you. E2, request and approval supplement agreement number three to, prefer, to work out the issue number one of the professional engineering service contract CCD1 19010326 with BDC Engineering LLC for the project Mission McCallum Radio Alternate 2018 Bonner Friend Project 25 to reflect the device exhibit D work schedule period service to end May 31st, 2023. Subject legal, legal review and compliance house bill 1295. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carried. Item F1, request and approval supplement agreement number three to professional engineering service contract CCD1 19005040409 with Mellon Hunt Inc. for the project East Mercedes 2018 bond referendum project number 10A to reflect a revised exhibit D work schedule with an extended termination date of November 30th, 2024, subject to legal review and compliance house bill 1295. Motion approved. Second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Motion carried. Thank you. Item two, request approval supplement agreement number three to work out the session number one of the professional engineering service contract CCD 1-19-005-0409 with Melanie Hunt Inc. for the project East Mercedes 2018 bond referendum project 10A to reflect the revised period of service to end on November 30th, 2024, subject legal review and compliance house bill 1295. So moved. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item G, acceptance and approval of work authorization number three in the amount of $34,980.70 as submitted by LNG Consulting Engineers Inc. through contract number CCD to 1 19 to provide engineering services feasibility study for the Mid Valley Airport 2018 bond referendum project number 19, subject to legal review. So, second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carried. Thank you. Item H, request and approval of change order number one with Morewell LLC C. ACDD 1-22024-0726 to reflect an increased amount of $205,245.91 with additional 45 days for the project of JO8 Drain Improvement 2018 Bond Referendum Project Number 26 as recommended Project Engineer Kitty Handle Associates Inc. Subject House Bill 1295 Compliance. This is additional work that we're doing excavating our current JO8. There's additional excavation that's being done. Uh, so uh, it's being recommended by the, the project engineer and we recommend approval. So moved. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item I, one approval application number one, the amount of 29,304 from Go Underground Pertaining Construction Contact, CACD1 20 Hidalgo, excuse me, Highway 281 and FM 88. Project Engineer, uh, Cruz Hogan, everything is in order. We recommend approval. Is this, uh, this construction just started? Yes, sir. This is the one, the IB, this is IBWC structure. 
that they're cutting open over there um, just east of 88 gotcha. in, um, um, I guess, our Progreso drain that we call it over there. Right. Yes, so that's where we did the RDF and all that, and the, the, this structure is going in. Yes, sir. Gotcha. Motion to approve. Second. I have a motion and second to approve. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Um, item two, approval of application payment number one, the amount of 315,123 and 40 cents for Texas Cordia LLC, pertaining to the contract. CACD 122003022, Mission McCallum Radio, phase two. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item uh, <coughs> three, approval of certificate of special completion, sunflower drain. If I may, I'll read all four, uh, four and five, sir. Approval of certificate of construction completion, sunflower drain. And number five, approval of application payment number nine, retaining to the amount $123,080.14 for Mobile LLC. Pertaining construction contract, CHCD 120410812, Sunflower Drain. Motion to approve. Second. second. We have a motion and second to approve. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carried. Thank well, you. Before you move on, uh, just in general, in 2018, you can see that there's just in, for the public, there's a lot of different projects going on and a lot of different phases of work, some near construction, some... At, at different stages, but I think that we're following through on our commitment to try to get all of the identified projects from the 2018 bond to construction within the three years uh, that, that we wanted to do that. So we want the community and the public to know that we're ver working very hard to try to meet that goal. Yes, sir. And I want to thank you guys for your hard work. These gate structures take a long time because yes, the IBWC you know, has that their processes. Materials in general put paused a lot of projects because they just Concrete wasn't available, pipe wasn't available, gate structures weren't available. Gates, yes, sir. So we had a lot of obstacles uh, that we had to overcome. So I just, again, thank you for your continued progress on trying to get all of these projects in the ground because that's what we need. Yes, sir. Thank you. Yes, sir. No, thank you. <clears throat> Item 7A, approval application payment number 8 in the amount of 109109 and 16 cents from Core Equipment LLC, pertaining concession contract number CACD 122001038, Alamo Expressway Drain. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Motion carries. We do have one item to go to closed session. So pursuant to chapter, subchapter D of the chapter 551 of Texas Government Code, we'll be retiring to closed session to discuss items listed in code section 551.072. I have a motion to do motion so. Motion made. Second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Motion carries. Okay, we're back from closed session. It's two minutes after 10. We do have one action item to take. For uh, item 9A, possible action of real estate acquisition, a motion is needed to authorize Mr. Sassine and his staff to proceed as discussed in the closed meeting. So moved. Second. second. I have a motion to second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. I have a motion to adjourn. Motion made. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Judge Commissioners. Merry Christmas. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. Thank you. I now call the meeting of the county commissioner's court to order. We'll start with a roll call to establish quorum. Good morning, David Fuentes, Precinct 1. Eddie Cantu, Precinct 2. Everardo Villarreal, Precinct 3. Richard Cortez, County Judge. That constitutes a quorum. As is customary, we have one of our veterans lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. Today, we have a specialist... Uh, Ricardo Banda, he served in the U.S. Army from 1996 to 2006. He's working with our deputy sheriffs today. Uh, is he live or on video? He can hear. Oh, okay. Please, please join. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation. Thank you, Deputy, for your service. We're also honored to have our very own Hilda Ann Salinas. She's an interim elections administrator and doing a great job. She's going to lead us in today's prayer. Good morning, Judge and Commissioners. Um, I'm here to recite this meeting's prayer. Dear Lord, we came to you this hour asking for your blessing and to help us as we are gathered together this morning. We maintain our faith that you will give the wisdom as policymakers 
and the patients as neighbors to help our community prevail. We ask your presence to press upon our hearts the importance and drive to reach out to our elected officials and community representatives on issues surrounding our community needs. We ask for wisdom and patience as we convene today's meeting, knowing that a multitude, multitude of challenges await us. In your name we pray, amen. amen. Judge, I think people are having, can you hear better now? Can you all hear in the audience? You can hear? Okay, perfect, sorry. Well, we're gonna go to item 5A to recognize a very special and distinguished person today that we're gonna lose, who's gonna be leading the, uh, the presentation. Go ahead. Boy. He needs his family all around him. There you go. Judge, you didn't want to have this at the FAR Convention Center? Tokayo, <laughs> <laughs> Tokayo, come on. Resolution honoring the distinguished service of Hidalgo County Criminal District Attorney Ricardo Rodriguez, Jr. Whereas, U.S. Supreme Court Justice Sonia Sotomayor once said that the job of a prosecutor is to do justice, and justice is served when a guilty man is convicted and an innocent man is not. And whereas, that philosophy has been on display in Hidalgo County by Criminal District Attorney Ricardo Rodriguez, Jr. for the last eight years, and whereas, Rodriguez, an Edinburgh native, was born to teenage parents and spent his early life in the tradition of so many Rio Grande Valley families as a migrant farm worker. And whereas, learning the, va the value of hard work and the pursuit of big dreams in the field, Rodriguez became the first in his family to attend college, receiving an academic and athletic scholarship to the University of Texas at San Antonio, where he earned a bachelor's degree in business administration. And whereas, Rodriguez continued his education by earning his Juris Doctorate degree from the Thurgood Marshall School of Law at Texas Southern University in Houston. And whereas, Rodriguez returned to the Rio Grande Valley, where he opened his private practice before embarking on a career of public service that included his election as council member of the city, for the city of Edinburgh, his election as judge for the 92nd District Court, and his election as criminal district attorney for Hidalgo County. And whereas, during his tenure as criminal district attorney, Rodriguez prided himself on initiatives, such as the creation of the Special Crimes Division, the Victims Unit, the, the, victims unit, the Domestic Violence Unit, and the Human Trafficking Unit. And whereas, Rodriguez served his community diligently by overseeing more than 200 employees, all dedicated to the mission of administering justice in Hidalgo County. Whereas, during his tenure as criminal district attorney, Rodriguez received many accolades, including the 2015 Mothers Against Drunk Driving, Driving Diamond Hero Award, the 2016 Children's Advocacy Center Spotlight Award, the 2017 Rio Grande Valley Families and Friends of Murdered Children's Justice Advocacy Award, the 2018 Children's Advocacy Center of Hidalgo and Stark County's Recognition Award, and the 2018 Court Appointed Special Advocates Commitment Award. And whereas Rodriguez has decided to return to private practice ending an era of doing justice as well as a distinguished career as a public servant. Now therefore, be it resolved that the Hidalgo County Commissioner's Court proclaims its gratitude for the exemplary service of Ricardo Rodriguez Jr. on behalf of the citizens of Hidalgo County and wishes him continued success in the next chapter of his life. Approved this 20th day of December, 2022. Motion approved. Second. <laughs> Thank you, thank you. Judge Commissioners, Counselor, Mr. Guerra. Every time that I think about my life, um, even though I always talk about, you know, where I came from and what I did, that's all I had. The only memories that I had was working with this guy behind me. Mm -hmm. uh, 
you know, different areas here in the state and the nation. <clears throat> we never had the privilege of spending a camping trip together or going to, you know, vacation or anything like that. I don't have those memories. So the only memories I had was just growing up in the fields with my dad. That's it. That's why I talk about him so much. But it wasn't a bad thing. It was a good thing. Um, just a little while ago, we were talking about that during this time, uh, many, many years ago, we were in Ovalde. Coldest time uh, in Ovalde, and where cabbage grows the best. I don't know why when it's the coldest, right? Um, so, so those are the memories that I have, and that's why I talk about it so much. But having those memories and growing up the way I did uh, ha has made me the person who I am today. The only difference is I went to go get educated, right? Um, and that was something that my parents instilled in us. The last day that I worked in the fields with my dad was, was when I was 18 years old in Dilly, Texas. I was getting ready to go to UTSA on a track and cross-country scholarship, and he had me working when I was 18 years old, and I had to train after, after, after work. But again, I want to I want to I want to thank my mom and dad because obviously they they did a whole lot. They they could have given up in life so easy, you know, no high school education, no college education. And uh, they, they 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 never gave up. Uh, they 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 moved forward and. Because of that, and obviously they were able, they were able to give us a chance in life. And 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 I'm very blessed with that. They gave us that opportunity to be where we're at today. Um, they never gave up, even though they had every reason to give up in life, um, because of how they grew up. Um, but mom and dad, thank you, thank you for everything that you've done for us. Yeah. Not, not only for me, but for my brother and my sister as well. Um, my wife, Danita, <clears throat> and my kids. I mean, so many sacrifices that they, that they went through just so I can do what, what, I, what I'd love to do, serve. And they, they, they were at the front end of that. You know, they were in the trenches. And as, some, as most of you know, and, and those public officials, you understand the sacrifices that we have to make. Um, and... If it wasn't for my wife and my kids, again, I wouldn't have been able to do what I've done in my lifetime. So thank you, babe. I love you. I love my kids as well. <laughs> to everyone who's here and, and who may, may not have been able to come, you know, my friends and family that are here, thank you um, for, for, for the support. Besides my immediate family, I've always talked about my second family, and that's the office, uh, the district attorney's office. You know, we, these individuals fought every day for what was just described up here a little while ago for justice. And I can look you in the eye and I can look the public in the eye and tell them that that's what we've done for eight years. We've just looked for justice. And there's so many ways that we've done it, right? Uh, maybe not popular for some, but I am here to look in the eyes of the people and tell them that I did my best. And I, and, I, and, and I did it the best way that I could. But I wouldn't have been able to accomplish everything that I've accomplished these eight years without the, the DA's family. And I want to thank them. Our administrators, our legal assistants, our prosecutors, everybody, everyone who had something to do with these eight years, thank you very much from the bottom of my heart. Thank you, and I love you guys very much. Thank you. <laughs> Judge, commissioners, thank you for your support. Every time that we came to you, uh, we always came to you for a good reason. We always came to you because we wanted, we wanted to make sure that we were complying with the responsibilities. We wanted to make sure that we were doing everything that we could. But we knew that we couldn't do it, you know, a whole lot of it without you guys. Um, again, all of us understand the decisions that we have to make and as a public official and the positions that we hold. And I can tell you that I, I'm proud and honored to have worked with you guys. As the county attorney, I can tell you that you guys have made the best decisions that are the best for the citizens of Hidalgo County. Again, even though some are not, were not popular, or not popular, you, I can look in the eye and say that I've seen you at work, and I thank you for everything that you've done. These past years have been very challenging, 
Very challenging in the sense that decisions had to be made, especially during the COVID. There was no book to play with. There was no, you know, no laws to look at and see what, what were the right or wrong decisions. And you guys make the best decisions you could. And I commend you for that. And thank you for everything that you've done. Thank you very much for that, Judge and Commissioners. Um, I, I leave you with this. Uh, again, I, I, I'm sad that I'm leaving. Um, but this kid right here, my son Ricardo, has given me the animo that I need to keep moving forward. Uh, I tell you what, you know, the little the little bit that I slack on, this guy picks me up on, and you know, every day, and I look forward to working with him. And and he he's also excited. I'm excited. Uh, I'm still going to serve, not not as a public official capacity, but another capacity. Someone asked me, Rick, what kind of work are you going to do? I said, whatever walks through that door, whatever I can help, wherever I can help, and whatever I can do, and do it the best that I can. Um, I'm still going to be around. Uh, again, uh, anything that I can do to help you all and help the citizens of this county, um, I, I, I will be available. And I will be remiss if I, if, I, if I didn't leave without saying thank you to the citizens of Hidalgo County. They are the individuals that gave me this opportunity to, to do what I've done in these past 16, 17 years of my public office as a district judge, as a city commissioner, and also as a district attorney. I put my name on that ballot and I left it in their hands to decide who they wanted to put in those positions and they voted me in several times, several times and I thank them very, very much from the bottom of my heart. My family thanks them very much uh, because I understand and I know and I, and I know you understand this as well that without them we don't hold these positions. Without them, you know, we can't do what we what we like to do in the sense of serving. So thank you to the citizens of Hidalgo County uh, for entrusting me with so many uh, awesome and, and, and very important responsibilities um, that come with, with the job. Uh, I, from the bottom of my heart, I'm honored and I'm blessed. And thank you for this proclamation as well. I want to thank the other cities and everyone who was here who somehow, some way, um, acknowledged my, uh, the services that, that I've given uh, to the citizens of Gal County. Uh, my wife uh, said something. Yeah, Ricardo. I mean, you know, we need to stop with these celebrations, and we need to, we need to, we need to get to work. You know, uh, but she was, I, I know, she was just joking around. And, and again, uh, yes, I, I'm ready to move forward. Uh, I'm ready for the next chapter in life. Uh, we'll be right down the street, you know, from here, not too far. Uh, but again, uh, thank you. I want to thank God uh, for giving me this opportunity and for blessing myself and my family. And I love uh, every person in here, and I love every citizen in Dallas County. Thank you very much. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you.
Sheriff. Yeah, I understand there's someone here to speak in favor of. Uh, Is someone else here to, to speak on behalf of uh, the DA? I don't think they can hear. I, I think your microphone is off. There, now, now talk, Judge. It was off. So make that announcement. There you okay, go. Okay, is, is there someone here? Wanted to speak on behalf of the DA. It's a far, far, far PD. Okay, we have the the far police department here to make a presentation. Okay. Thank you. We have one more presentation for the DA. Hi, good, uh, good, good to start. Go ahead, uh, yes. Hi, good morning. Um, Juan Gonzalez, Chief of Police for the City of FAR. Just uh, first uh, wanted to thank for the opportunity to come in here and present uh, something to uh, DA uh, Ricardo Rodriguez. Uh, I know that uh, throughout the time that we've had, you know, the education and awareness has always been there where he's, uh, been the, at the forefront and leading awareness and, and education and, and any events that we had in the city as well was always there to to and his staff to help out push that awareness and education so just wanted to present them with uh, a small token of our appreciation on behalf of the city of far and the far police department the the flag of the united states of america accompanying this certificate has proudly flown over the far police department on december 19 2022 we pre we present this to district attorney ricardo rodriguez in sincere appreciation for your dedication and support as hidalgo county district attorney today december 20th 2022 so again on behalf of city of far and our department thank you for all you've done and and uh we'll continue to uh to uh do what you um helped us do and, and learn and bring awareness and education, not only do, domestic violence, human trafficking, every, everything that uh, you've taught us to do. So thank, thank you. you very much for your yeah. So much it's for golf, right? Beautiful, man. Thank you. Thank you. Anyone else? Well, thank you very much. Uh, you know, Mr. DA, he distinguished himself for eight years and he will certainly be missed. But I have a good feeling about who's going to replace him, so I think we're going to continue with a, with a good tradition. Next, let's just let's go ahead. First okay, we, di we didn't vote on the motion to, to accept the, the resolution. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Let's go on to the resolution to honor another distinguished individual, Judge. Alvaro Herrera, Judge. for his 29. No We're going to take no action on that. Oh, no Judge. action. Yes, okay. Do. All right, then we'll go to the approval of the consent agenda. Judge, commissioners, with your permission, uh, I'd like to take from consent agenda. Uh, consent agenda item 7A1 and 2. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Judge Commissioners, uh, uh, for the record, Commissioner Fuentes will be abstaining from any discussion and or action related to consent agenda items 7A1 and 2. With that being said, uh, if the court can take action on consent agenda items 7A1 and 2. I have to we can't hear your motion. motion to approve. Test. Second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Motion carries. Thank you. Yeah. Let the record show that com Commissioner Fund is abstained from voting here. 
before we go to uh, we'll go to open session or open forum excuse me Ms. Cantu Mr. Magnus presenters for open forum yes we just have one Ms. Fern McClarity Ms. Fern McClarity Ms. McClarity there is a three minute time limit I will advise when there is one minute and I will start when you start and it's kind of hard to hear you, Valdi, with the mask on. I have no idea what you said about those two. I am here again to request that you stop spending because it is the major <clears throat> reason for the increase of poverty. Last week, there was a rumor that the county was in the process of considering the creation of a plan to address poverty. I have to admit that I did not think it was true because this county commissioner's court has shown that it uses its position as the poverty capital of Texas as a hook to get more federal funds. This is a statement of fact. No poverty, no federal funds. Keeping people in a state of poverty is financially vital to this county. The problem is that as, a, as I get older, I spend more time thinking about my contributions to improving the lives of others. I do not think that improving my personal wealth while making life more difficult for others is going to be an asset at the end of my life. Increasing taxes on people who cannot afford to pay is wrong, and politicians who do so will get their just reward at some time down the road. So just remember, you're not getting away with anything. Tell the public that taxes are not high because 97% of the people are paying on time and are not, tell, are not telling the truth. If that's true, then the people are doing without food, they're doing out with rent, they're not paying somewhere because they can't afford it. Because if it's no problem, why are the schools, the city, the county giving out presents to the children because they are not going to have anything for Christmas? Think about that one. Judge Ramon Garcia would always say that the county has nothing to do with taxes while voting for those who kept increasing our taxes. How can people get out of poverty when this court keeps increasing our debt? Allowing companies not to pay taxes for 10 years, increasing staff salaries. One minute. These actions make it more difficult to own a home, to feed your family, to give your family anything at Christmas. Uh, also, those elected officials who do not vote for, uh, that do not vote on issues affecting as today, uh, it's not that you're not voting, but you are benefiting from whatever is coming up on the agenda. We've all seen hard times. As a child, I didn't know that I was poor. Uh, my mother made my clothes. My mother made uh, one Christmas a little doll. My father got a limb off of an evergreen tree for our Christmas tree. So I know what people have and don't have. And each time I see you giving twenty, twenty-five thousand dollars uh a raises, I see the people, I see those children that y'all were so patting yourself on the back to give presents to. Think about that you're hurting them each day. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. No more presenters, Judge Commissioners. Okay. We're going to need to go to closed session. Yes, sir. Give me a minute. Pursuant to Chapter 551 of the Texas Government Code, we're going to go into closed session to discuss items in Section 551.71, 72, 74, and 87. I have a motion to retire to closed session. Second. We have a motion to second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Motion carries. I have 1028. We're back from closed session. It's uh, 1040. We're on item 7A, Commissioner. 7A. County Judge's Office, you want me to read it, Bob? I'll go ahead and read it, go Commissioner. For it. So, uh, 7A for the County Judge's Office, discussion, consideration, ratification of the submission of a continuation application for VISTA, award number 21VSXTX008 from AmeriCorps for fiscal year 2023. So moved. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion passes. Eight, District Attorney's Office. 
Good morning, Commissioners Judge Rosalinda Cantu presenting for the District Attorney's Office, item 8A. We're asking for approval of 2023 appropriation of funds for the following special revenue budgets. Uh, number one, check fraud, fund 1222. Number two, chapter 59, fund 1223. And number three, DA pre-trial intervention program, fund 1225. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you. Commissioners, if Thank I may, you. under uh, item nine, county clerk's office for Mr. Guajardo is requesting approval of the 2023-2026 official bond and oath as listed. We have 17. We have judge, and I have one correction. It is Judge Richard F. Cortez, county judge, judge uh, Commissioner uh, Torres, precinct four, Judge Albert Garcia, county court law six, Judge Joanne Garcia, probate court, Miss Lita Leo, county treasurer, Mr. Samaripa, uh, Alfredo Samarilla, Chief Deputy Treasurer, Constable Marichelar, Constable Precinct 5, Judge uh, Arno, uh, Arnoldo Cantu, County Court of Law 5, uh, Judge, or Judge Maldonado, uh, Andre Maldonado, JP Precinct 4, Place 2, Ms. Laura Enojosa, our District Clerk, uh, Judge uh, Jose, uh, Juan Jose Peña, JP Precinct 3, Place 2, uh, Judge Omar Maldonado, County Court of Law Number 8, Judge uh, Jaime Jerry Munoz, JP Precinct 2, Place 2, Judge Jason Peña, JP Precinct 5, Place 1, Judge uh, uh, Jaime J. Palacios, County Court of Law Number 2, Judge uh, Fred Garza, County Court of Law Number 4, and Judge Jesus Morales, JP Precinct 1, Place 2. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item B is requesting approval of the 2023-2026 official bond for Hilda Ann Salinas, our Inum Elections Administrator. So moved. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Judge Commissioners, for the record, on the next item uh, for the County Treasurer's Office, Commissioner Cantu will be abstaining from any discussion and or action related to 10A1 and 2. Uh, Commissioner Fuentes, uh, it is uh, requesting a first action item is requesting approval of the Hidal County Investment Policy. Motion to approve. I'll second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item 10A2, requesting approval of the Hidal County Authorized Broker List. Commissioner? Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. For the record, Commissioner Cantu abstained from both items. Thank you. Constable Precinct 4. Morning, Judge. Uh, Commissioner. 11A. Uh, Constable Precinct 4, fiscal year 2024, the uh, Rifle Resistant Body Armor Grant Program. A1, authorization approval to apply for the fiscal year 2024 rifle resisting body, body armor grant program with the Office of the Governor, Criminal Justice Division. Do I go on, two, three? Yes, sir, please. Uh, A2, approval of the resolution for the fiscal year 2024 rifle resisting body armor grant uh, program. Uh, designate uh, Judge Richard Cortez as granted authorized officials with the authority for county judge to execute resolution. A3, approval for the county judge as authorized official to e-sign application and don't related documents. Motion to approve 11A, Second. 1, 2, and 3. Second. Thank you, Commissioners. I've got a quick announcement here. Deputy Solis with uh, my office uh, uh, that uh, he needs to share for a bite. Just give Two me seconds. one second. Uh, we have a motion and a second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Pasele. Thank you. Thank you, Constable, and good morning, Commissioners. I just want to take a quick opportunity of uh, having everyone here this morning. Uh, to announce that on January 4th, uh, 2023, it falls on a Wednesday. I want to, on behalf of Constable Etan, I want to extend a personal invitation to all of you to attend our inaugural Rio Grande Valley Police Canine Competition. Uh, we're going to be hosting over 50 teams from all across South Texas. Uh, they're going to be meeting in the spirit of friendly competition, but the main goal is to get students from the high school law enforcement programs to come out to the event and uh, to this date we have over 800 students that have already confirmed and we are uh, doing this mainly so that we can unite with the community uh, and to show high school students that are getting to that level where they're about to go to the next step into college some of them pursuing law enforcement careers we want to show them different pathways on on different careers within the law enforcement community 
Uh, of course, a lot of the kids always love the canines when we go do school presentations. So it's a wonderful opportunity for them to see firsthand what these uh, police uh, canine handlers and their, and their dogs can do. So we're here to extend a personal invitation. If I may approach, I'd like to give you all a personal invitation. Thank you all, commissioners, and uh, you all have a Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Likewise. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Thank you. <clears throat> Thank you very much. Thank you. Do you have this? Do you have this in electronic format? Yes, sir. I'll can you have it so we can share it online? Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you, commissioner. Thank you. Thank you. Valde, I want to skip around. We have a couple of people in the audience. If we can take their items so that they can go along with their day. Yes, sir. What item do you have? Monse? Yeah, Do you know what item it is? 17. No, that's funny. It's probably in, probably in purchasing. Uh, under planning department? No. Purchasing, so that would be um, item 22A. Mr. Belmares, 22A. Good morning, Commissioners. Eduardo Belmares with the Purchasing Department. Item 22A, uh, uh, is it one or two? One. Do one, one. And, yeah, A1 one. and two. A1, A1 AB, okay. sorry. 22A1A, acceptance of the sole and qualified response received from Montalvo Insurance Agency as deemed qualified by Evaluation Committee for the purpose of award RFP 22035912 YZB, Excess Workers' Compensation Insurance, and B, authority for the purchasing department to enter into negotiations and finalize an agreement for action by Hidalgo County Commissioner's Court with the qualified proposer of Montalvo Insurance Agency for Excess Workers' Compensation Insurance. So motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. Aye. I motion carries. Commissioner, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna ask after that next one just for him to finish up his, uh, okay. his items. They're not many. Do you want to hold on real yes. quick, Tokayo? Do you want to bring up your item? Do you have an item? It's this item. It's what? It's this item. Which item? The one that we're voting on. The one we just did? Yeah. Okay, perfect. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and Mr. Go ahead, Mr. Belmares. Go ahead and finish your items. Thank you, Commissioner. Item 22A2A, request and approval finalized program management plan submitted by B2Z Engineering, LLC, and B, approval work authorization number two to contract number 21081911116 for Hidalgo County Phase Two project, courthouse demolition and other services in the amount of 362,597.38. So moved. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you. 22B1, request and approval change order number five, detailed in this document attached here too. For Econ Group LLC under contract number 21229907, as recommended by project manager B2Z Engineering LLC in connection with the construction of the new Precinct 4 Justice Center. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. 22B2A, requesting authority to reject all bids received for translation interpretation services under RFP 22060511, 23KMG. Bids did not meet the specified pricing requirements of the solicitation packet. And B, pursuant to section three of the service contract number 20880226, requesting authority to exercise a 60 day extension at the end of the contract term under the same rates, terms and conditions with Davila and Associates Inc. And C, requested approval of the procurement packet R, B 2207 KMG, translation interpretation, here to with authority to advertise and re advertise if necessary. Motion to approve, uh, two A, B, and C. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. 22C1A, requesting authority to reject sole bid received for lease up office space to House County Department of Veterans Office under RFP 22060421209 PEG and B, pursuant to Provision 13 hold order of the current agreement between Hidalgo County and RNL Grava LLC approved to continue to house the Veterans Office under contract number C17330-1219. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. 22D1, request and approval supplemental agreement number one to contract number 21061228 between Hidalgo County and RO Engineering PLLC for professional engineering services for project specific Hargill Solar Lights project to extend the termination date of said agreement. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. 
E1, requested approval to purchase one Super Shot 125 diesel compressor crack seal machine through the county membership with participation with by board cooperative contract number 685-22 awarded vendor for Crafto Inc. Crafto Super Shot 125D crack seal machine in the amount of 87820 Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. 22F1, request authorization to award to Star Free Feed Yards LLC to the sole responsive and responsible bidder meeting our specification requirements as recommended by Hidalgo County Precinct 3 commencing December 28, 2022 through the RFP project number 220634 VWB lease of land for dry farming purposes. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. 22G1, request and approval of the following change order number three as detailed in this document here too for the 5125 company under contract number 220044-0531 as recommended by the project engineer, Hidalgo County Drainage District number one. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 aye motion carries. 22G2, discussion, consideration, and approval of amendment number one to interlocal cooperation agreement between Hidalgo County and the University of Texas Rio Grande Valley, TRGV, for the John Austin Peña Memorial Center to extend the term of the ICA. I do have Ms. Veronica Gonzalez, Senior Vice President with UTRGV, that would like to share some remarks and appreciation of the support by Dalu County. Thank you. Thank you, Commissioner. So my light's very bright here. Uh, I just wanted to say thank you to each of you for uh, continuing to support the University of Texas Rio Grande Valley and our School of Medicine. Uh, and the efforts that we're making to uh, to provide health care and educational opportunities for our students over at the John Austin Pena Clinic. And um, we look forward to continuing to do that work with you. So thank you again. And to each of you, Merry Christmas and have a wonderful holiday season. Merry Christmas. Thank you. Merry Christmas. Thank you. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. 22 G3 request and approval on college geotechnical construction material testing services agreement with B2Z engineering LLC for projects located within precinct number four as ranked and approved to negotiate under contract for under commissioner's court 12 3 2022 AI 88826. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Mm. 22 H1A request and approval to rescind action by commissioner's court 11 2022 under AI 88360. For the award of self-funded health plan stop loss reinsurance services to UNAM and B requesting approval to award to Aetna the recommended carrier with authority for the county judge to sign any required documentation. Motion to approve. This is what I usually abstain from. Do it. So I probably need to abstain on this. Okay. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Uh, Commissioner Fuentes has abstained. 22 I 1 A discussion and applicable action on the renovation of Elections Department Warehouse Jackson Creek project through cooperative purchasing programs award job order contractor, including but not limited to the following and B presentation of the submitted proposal received for the project from two of five job participants, A1 facility services and Hercon LLC and C request and approval to award to the lowest responsive and responsible proposer, A1 facility services through their respective awarded cooperative contracts, job with the condition to remove their proposed architect allowance. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. 22J1, discussion, consideration, and action to renew for one year with NMS Labs, uh, prior exempt to service presented in AI83592, and utilize the current price speed schedule effective through December 31st, 2023. Services include various post-mortem toxicology reports on an as needed basis through submission of analysis, requisition, and chain of custody form. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. 22K1, request and approval and acceptance of rebate check from the local government purchasing cooperative by board in the amount of 53340 The check is the result of our participation in the cooperative for the 2021-2022 fiscal year. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. That is all I have, Commissioners. Thank you so much. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Thank you. Commissioners, item 12, Tax Assessor Collector, Mr. Paul Villarreal's office. Mr. Villarreal. Commissioners, with your permission, Mr. Villarreal does have on the agenda uh, approval of the interlocal amendments for the following entities. La Via ISD, City of Progreso, City of Edinburgh, City of Alton, City of Granjeno, City of San Juan, Progreso uh, ISD, City of Par, City of La Via, Hidalgo ISD, City of La Jolla, and uh, City of Ed Couch. 
Uh, this is as per Clause 6, uh, consideration of the collection of taxes contract. Uh, uh, there is going to be a, uh, the, uh, if I, uh, the, the increase is within the 5% threshold uh, that's allowed by the contract, as there is an increase in the contract. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Mr. Avila. Good morning, Good morning Commissioners. Um, for item 13A, the Irving County Program requests approval of a subrecipient agreements with two nonprofit agencies. One, the Lower Rio Grande Valley Development Council Corporation, Inc., in the amount of total $55,000. That is for Valley Metro. Uh, number two, Lower Rio Grande Valley Community Health Management, in the am total amount of $25,000. UCP CDBG public service program years 2022 funds will be used retroactively effectively effective July 1st 2022 to May 31st 2023 that is for the Milagro clinic as well motion to approve second all in favor say aye aye aye, aye. motion carries thank you Merry Christmas Merry Christmas next item 14 health and human services Good morning, Commissioners. Lulu Acevedo for Health and Human Services Department. Um, item 14A, requesting approval to accept and for the county judge to e-sign the Public Health Emergency Preparedness Grant Contract 537-18-0176-00001, Amendment Number 10. The purpose of the amendment is to add a one-time funding of $150,000 to support the annual 2023 South Texas All Hazards Conference and to change certain administrative and technical functions of the program contract. Item number 14A2, requesting approval of the certification of revenue in the amount of $150,000 as approved by county auditor and appropriation of the same. Motion for 14A1 and 2. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item 14B, no action. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Lulu. Thank you, Merry Christmas. Happy Merry New Christmas. Year. Uh, 15, Public Defender's Office. Morning, Commissioners. Larry Esparza with the Public Defender's Office. Uh, action, I'm sorry, item 15A, uh, approval to accept additional grant award funds received from Texas Energy Defense Commission, TIDC, in the amount of $17,403 in relation to the fiscal year 2022 Mental Health Defender Improvement Grant with authority for county judge as authorized official to accept, award, and execute required documents. Item number two, approval of certification of revenues as certified by the county auditor in the amount of $17,403 in relation to the fiscal year 2022 Mental Health uh, Defender Improvement Grant and appropriation of the same. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you. Merry Christmas to y'all. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas. Well. 16 Human Resources. Good sure. morning, Commissioner Erika Reina for the Department of Human Resources. Item 16A, I'm requesting a waiver of the following if applicable for the personnel items listed. I need action on item number three, the budget amendment policy, personnel related amendments. So moved. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item 16B for the County Judge's Office, approval to add supplemental allowance effective for calendar year 2023 for the record. This is from Program Department 110, Program 081 for slot A008, Chief of Staff in the amount of $20,000 and slot A009, Assistant Chief of Staff 2 in the amount of $10,000. These positions will be funded from Program 81 and it is due to the undertaking of the vacant economic development director duties amongst other duties for the staff. Judge or commissioners, we do have a public participation form from Ms. Firma Clarity on agenda item 16B. Yeah, I'm hoping that you can, someone can explain, I believe last week, uh, the same, uh, it's under the county judge and it is 0002, the chief of staff and the assistant chief of staff. They got 20, I see last week, uh, I finally found out the chief of staff makes quite a bit of money, unbelievable. 
100, it was 104,833. Now, last week, if you added what they got, it would be 133,377. And then today, we're looking at the chief of staff getting an additional 22,000? No, no ma'am. We did take action last week. No. There was no action last week. This is the action item for this week. So whatever happened, whatever numbers were there last week, do not count. These are the numbers today. Okay, so they're getting. How much are they getting today? It's the same, same, same dollar amount. If I'm not mistaken, twenty and ten. Twenty and ten. Like I said, I, I don't know where y'all pull this money out of, but okay. It just looked like it was forty thousand. Twenty is bad enough. No. I can't believe. We're, like I say, with times as hard as they are. Plus 20,000. Right. No, it is not 40. Okay, at least just a little help. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, it's been red, right? It's been red. Is approval to increase auto allowance for calendar year 2023 for slot 002, Chief of Staff, from the current allowance of $3,000 to the proposed allowance of $5,000. Now, motion to it. approve 16B1 and 2. Motion. A second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item 16C for facilities management, approval to create the following positions effective January the 1st, 2023. I'm requesting to create slot 0163 and 0164 maintenance one positions at a grade three, slot 165 a career at grade three, slot 0166 an air conditioned technician two at grade nine, slot 0167 a plumber two at a grade 10, and slot 0168 an electrician three, at a grade 12, HR has reviewed these requests uh, and does support the creation of these positions as they are needed for the proper maintenance of county facilities and operations. Motion to approve. Second. Well, did we ever close on the building? Uh, the, the last piece of information we got and the uh, Councilor Perez is uh, finalizing uh, this week, so uh, we're almost there. You think this week? It's going to happen. Uh, he should finalize the the last document this week, and so they should. Uh, I would imagine they're going to have paperwork for me to sign next week. We have a motion, a second. All in favor, say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item 16D for the Information Technology Department approval to title to change the titles of the following positions effective January 1st, 2023. This is for slot 0057 from Technician 4, Grade 10 to CJS Support Specialist 1 at Grade 10. And for slot 0049, Assistant Director Information Technology to IT Operations Administrator, both at a grade 20. And item 16D2, approval to revise the classified position list to add the new position of IT Operations Administrator at a grade 20. I recommend approval. Commissioners, we do have a public participation form from Ms. Fern McClarity on item 16D. Yes, I was trying to find out exactly what, because uh, a lot of times there's not a dollar amount but there was backup. I noticed that the county, from what I could find on the agenda, we pay 23 employ our positions, uh, over 80,000 to 89,000. And then from uh, 90,000 up, we have 15 positions. What are these two positions going to be paid? Or what are we talking here? Can you kind of explain what this is? Because there, there is no salary change on these positions. It's just a it is a title change to be more representative of the duties that they undertake. Well, usually so, when y'all do that, then you come back or no, there is a salary. It's nothing no, on this one? No, no, ma'am. This no. is just a title That's change to represent, better represent their duties. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Okay. Item 16E for Precinct 3 from Road and Bridge. Approval to recent action taken on AI88778. And item 16E2 is approval of the following actions effective upon commissioner's court approval and for calendar year 2023. The request is to delete slot 0085 and equipment operator four out of grade 12 and create slot 0129 and equipment operator three out of grade 10. Delete slot 0020, a truck driver three out of grade eight and create slot 0022, a supervisor one out of grade nine. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item 16F for the Sheriff's Office. Approval to create the following positions effective January the 1st, 2023. This is to create slots 0471 and 0472 mechanic ones at a grade six. And these positions are necessary to maintain the Sheriff's Office vehicles. So moved. Second. 
All in favor say aye. Aye. All right, motion carries. Item 16G for the DA Civil Litigation uh, Division and other programs. Approve the following actions effective January the 3rd, 2023. I'm requesting to delete the position and auto allowance for the slots as listed for an attorney three grade 17 with an allowance of $900 and create a slot and add the auto allowance slot 0225 and assistant district attorney five at a grade 21 with the proposed allowance of $900. Requesting to delete slot 0077 and legal assistant two at a grade eight and create slot 0226 and executive assistant two at a grade 13. Item 16 G2, approval to award a discretionary staff for the employee listed below. In accordance with HR criteria certification as per section 8.03 of the classification and compensation plan effective upon commissioner's court approval. This is for discretionary step three for slot 0018 and attorney four at a grade 19. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you. Have a Merry Christmas. You as well. Merry Christmas. 17 Planning Department, TJ. Uh, good morning, Commissioners. TJ Adelando with the Planning Department. Item 17A1A, preliminary approval with the variance request. A Lakehurst Phase 2 subdivision in Precinct 4 is a three lot subdivision in a flood zone A and X. They are requesting a variance to reduce the minimum lot width requirement of 100 feet down to 50 feet for lot three. Uh, we are recommending approval. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. The next two items are up for final approval with the financial guarantee. Item 17A2A, Los Garza subdivision in precinct four is a one lot subdivision in the flood zone X. They are requesting final approval with a cash deposit in the amount of 1500 for one septic tank system. Uh, we recommend approval. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. Aye. All right, motion carries. Next item 17A2B, TARS number one subdivision in precinct one is a 14 lot subdivision in a flood zone X. Uh, they are requesting final approval with a cash deposit in the amount of 21,000 for 14 septic tank systems. We are recommending approval. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. Aye. All right, motion carries. The next three items are for final approval item 17A3A, Stark Trail subdivision in precinct two is a 14 multifamily lot subdivision in a flood zone B and X. 17A3B at the Waterloo's number 16, phase two, and precinct three is a 14 lot subdivision in a flood zone C. And 17A3C, my loose subdivision in precinct three is a 23 lot subdivision in a flood zone X. Uh, we recommend approval for all three. Motion to approve, second. TJ, just a question. Where's the location of the Eldora Road and 281? That's city, isn't it? Uh, it is uh, just outside. It's abutting uh, the city limits, Commissioner. Um, you're talking about. Um, uh, the multifamily one, uh, Trail Star, Star Trail. Uh, I'll, I'll call you later. Just it sounds like it's right smack in the middle of the city, but that's fine. We got yeah, a motion. the one on Eldora. It's uh, it is county, sir. Um, it's in the ETJF City of Bar. We have a motion, a second. All in favor, say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Eighteen. Myself. Approval of advanced funding agreement. Amendment number one between Hidalgo County and the Texas Department of Transportation for the Norlana Loop Road Project from FM 1426 to FM 907 with authority for the county judge to DocuSign require documentation. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. 19A, a requesting approval of interlocal agreement between Hidalgo County Precinct 3, Hidalgo County Drain District Number 1, and the City of McAllen as it relates to the Mayberry Road to Glasscock Road Drainage Improvement Project. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. <sighs> Commissioner Torres's item. Valde. Yes. yes. Or, just, so for Commissioner Torres, we have Item 20 is requesting approval to name a 15-foot private road right-of-way uh, access easement out of Lot 7, Delta Orchard Subdivision, Unit Number 2, as per map recorded in Volume 6, page 33, Hidalgo County Map Records, as Luz Ramirez Service Road, as recommended by the Lower Rio Grande Valley Development Council 911 Services. 
Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item B is requesting approval to name a 20-foot access road easement out of track 110, San Salvador del Tule Grant, as recorded in volume 10, page 58, map records, Hidalgo County, Texas, as Agapo Service Road, as recommended by the Lower Rio Grande Valley Development Council, 911 services. So moved. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Mr. Salazar, budget. Thank you, Judge. Thank you, Commissioner Raisa Assad, Department of Budget and Management, item 21A for our 2023 budget approval to designate the budget officer subject to conditions and directions provided by Commissioner's Court to transfer amount from certain budgeted items to other budgeted items as per Texas Local Government Code Section 111.070. Item number two is approval to designate general fund, special revenue fund, and enterprise funds as a salary fund for their respective accounts as per Texas Local Government Code Section 154.042. And to approve 21A, 1 and 2. Commissioners, uh, if I may, uh, Mr. Salazar, right. Uh, what is your official title, sir? My official title is Division Director, Department of Budget and Management. Okay, uh, Commissioners, Division. thank you. Commissioners, I'd also like to include as designation of Budget Officer and the Division Director, Mr. Ray Salazar, as well. On, on, on item A1, uh, uh, the action for item A, uh, A1. Okay. Uh, uh, motion made? Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you. And item, item 20. I'm sorry, go ahead, sir. Go ahead. Item 22B. No, no, no. I, I'm sorry. G give me one second, please. Uh, did, uh, and, uh, did your motion include item A2 as well, Commissioner? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Item 21B. Approval to designate funds in our 2022 for expenditures related to the following programs. This is, uh, we're going to read for the record some corrections to the program amounts. For the 1115 waiver program, the corrected amount should be $1,516,606.22. For the IT countywide program, the correct amount should be $506,107.99. For the facilities countywide program, the corrected amount should be $375,036.17. And for Jackson Creek, the amount is correct at $2 million. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item 21C, voting equipment retrofit on 1301. Approval to deobligate funds in the amount of $2,648,740 in relation to the modifications and retrofitting of voting equipment as mandated by the passage of Senate Bill 598 in accordance with Texas Local Government Code 111.070. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item 21D, American Rescue Plan. 21D1, discussion, consideration, and action to approve the use of ARPA funds for the Hidalgo County Precinct 3 Glasscock to Mayberry Road Stormwater Project under Hidalgo County American Rescue Plan Act Stormwater System Improvement Program. For the record, I'd like to read the amount. The amount that we are uh, looking at is $1,165,432.46. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item 21D2, approval to set the budget for project ARPA program number 21 dash 122-070 precinct two stormwater management in the amount of one million one hundred and forty two thousand four hundred and sixty dollars motion to approve second all in favor say aye aye aye, aye. aye. motion carries item 21 e1 district clerk records management and preservation fund fund 1235 approval of our 2022 appropriation of funds for the district clerk records management and preservation fund fund 1235 in the amount of thirty one thousand seven hundred and ninety two dollars with fifty four cents to fund storage services and to cover a negative motion to approve second all in favor say aye aye, aye. aye. motion carries 21 e2 economic development approval of 2023 appropriation of funds into economic development in the amount of sixty five thousand so moved. second all in favor say aye aye, aye. aye. motion carries Thank you, Commissioners. Wishing you a blessed Merry Christmas. Likewise. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Ray. <clears throat> Commissioners, uh, I believe item 23 is next. Uh, so item 23, presentation for discussion of the following. 
Uh, we'll take no action on item 23A1, no action on item 23A2, and no action on 23A3. But I would make a note though, <coughs> that people need to stay aware of what's going to be happening <coughs> over the next few days with respect to weather. Yes. And to yeah, please take appropriate actions. He, he, I can sign whatever form. Mr. Salazar. Mr. Salazar. And that would also include our staff and our maintenance people being prepared for you yes. know, the weather, the severe weather that's coming this weekend. Please look at our websites, our Facebook pages to get up to date, um, you know, weather shelters and things like that. I think it is important that we prepare for these next few days through through Sunday. Correct. And I will be uh, we are right now working with emergency management and we'll work with Mr. Uh, with um, uh, our public uh, uh, affairs. Yes. And so we'll, we'll, we'll be sending out the message and, and sending out a PSA. Thank you. Item 23B, uh, pursuant to Article 81.005A, term of the court meeting, terms of court meeting, text local government code, consideration and entering of an order into the minutes, designated the day of the week, week of the month of Hidalgo County Commissioner's Court regular uh, meeting. And this is uh, order of the court. So for our commissioner's court meetings, the week of the month is the fourth week of the month. The day of the week designated is Tuesday, and the time of day would be 2 p.m. for commissioner's court, and this would be for the calendar year 2023. So fourth week of the month on Tuesdays, 2 p.m. for calendar year 2023 would be the regular meeting. So move. Check it. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item 24, um, there's uh, no specific action under item 24A, which is discussion considered regarding county response to disaster health emergency, 24A1, there's no specific action. 24B, um, measures necessary to preserve public health and safety. There's been uh, some agenda items addressing that. And 24C, direction regarding county government operations, including but not limited to essential functions. Judge Commissioners, we continue to work with facilities management as uh, and HR with respect to the issue at hand, which is uh, the uh, pandemic COVID. Uh, uh, we are including that. Uh, we also are including uh, 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 flu virus uh, as we're seeing an uptick. And so again, we work with those departments. The health and safety of our residents doing business with the County of Hidalgo is first and foremost, as well as the uh, employees that provide that valuable service. We have gone to closed session, so I will go to item 27, open session. 27A, real estate acquisition appropriation for same. There's no action to be taken. 27B, pending and or potential litigation, no action to be taken. 27C, discussion, consideration, and possible action regarding response to public health emergency, no specific action to be taken. 27D, uh, TWCC RD uh, 1A 23440. It's EEOC number 31C-2023-00362 NR versus County. Uh, Judge Commissioners, we'll proceed as directed and we will, uh, for the record, uh, we'll be assigning this or is assigned to our um, Ms. Josephine Ramirez's office at the DA's office, uh, our Chief uh, Civil Division. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. 27E. Cause number 2763-19-F, Maria Taylor versus Hidalgo County. Commissioners, I'd like for the court to enter in a motion in settlement of 276 C2763-19-F, Maria Taylor versus Hidalgo County in the amount of $60,000. So moved. Second. All in favor say aye. Aye. aye motion carries. And 27F, claim of Rolfo Rivas, judge com or commissioners, uh, there is no action to be taken this week. I'll proceed as directed and uh, we'll have something on for our first court session in January. So for the record, commissioners, item, 20, uh, item 26A, no action to be taken. 26B, there is no action to be taken. 28, no need to go back to closed session, no action. And 29, uh, out of, uh, back into open session, there's no action. Judge commissioners, uh, we do have adjournment before we adjourn. Uh, our next scheduled court session will be uh, will be for the new year. That will be January 3rd, Tuesday, and that will be at, uh, at 10 a.m. for Commissioner's Court, 9.30 a.m. for the Drainage District. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to everybody. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. Merry Christmas, everyone.
God bless. Motion to adjourn. Thank you. Motion made. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion aye. Thank you.